Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I have a book haul for y'all. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I've done a book haul. I believe my last book haul was in January or February. Um, that's because I put myself on a book budget this year. Um, I made a goal for myself to only buy one book a month um except for little like splurges that i'll have here and there obviously that's to be expected i had not had a book splurge i don't think at all this year or maybe i didn't know it was at the beginning of january or it was possibly december of last year i don't remember um but it's been a very long time since i've been in a bookstore and i did a book splurge if you will so i'm going to show you all of the books that i have bought since my last book haul so for february i decided to pick my favorite book in the ice planet barbarian series to add to my collection which is barbarian's redemption by ruby dixon which i believe is book number 13 if i'm not mistaken um i wish they had the number on here but they do not if you didn't know i love the ice planet barbarian series it's an alien romance series where human women human women crash land onto an ice planet filled with blue aliens and there is mates and it's it's amazing. So our heroine in this one, um, she's actually mute because uh, she has been in the alien slave trade since she was a little girl. You read about how Beck, our heroine here, um, really wants a mate for himself. So he goes and rescues some human women. He purchases these humans, or he learns how to do it. You have to like read the rest of the series to figure out why or how he does it. Um, but he contacts this ship and they he ends up like buying these humans that are owned by some evil aliens at the time. And so uh, they all come to their planet and he meets um ellie and at first he thinks that she's just a shy gross human because she's learned how to make herself really dirty and undesirable to creatures people um because uh, she does not want to be abused again or picked to be abused again um so she just makes herself undesirable by covering herself in gross stuff and does not speak at all once she gets her cooey which it's is like a symbiote thing that you learn about at the beginning of the series when she gets her cooey Beck learns that that is his mate I love this one it's my favorite one in the series I I love this couple so much I reread this on Kindle Unlimited all the time so I thought I'd get a copy for myself and right when this came in the mail I reread it I love this book so much so I had to add it to my collection and so then I wasn't really sure what book to pick for March <laughs> and so I just ended up purchasing my own copy of the first book in this series um which is ice planet barbarians the first book in the ice planet barbarian series um so this book just starts out the whole entire alien romance series that i love i've never owned a physical copy of uh, the, the books in these series before but i just realized that these aren't the same height and i don't get why i don't get why but they won't be the same height on my shelf very interesting <laughs> So the only two other books that I ended up getting in February, I bought one of them and then was sent another. I obviously bought A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass, the next book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. If you want to know my thoughts on this, I already read it. I read it in like two days. Um, I have my vlog for it linked down below. Um, and yeah fantasy romance book if you don't know what this book is i don't know what to do with your life <laughs> and then i have been entering a lot of goodreads giveaways and i ended up winning one i ended up winning uh the kate in between by claire swin swinakarski oh my gosh i am butchering that um but this is an arc copy and um the, i believe this is a middle grade i have to look more into this just because i've been putting like goodreads requests giveaways on a bunch of children's books and middle grade books for my future classroom because i'm going to be a teacher um so that's mainly what this book is for um, i'm definitely going to be reading it before i put it in my future classroom um but that's the main reason why i entered into this giveaway next we have three books that were sent to me by valentine pr so thank you all so much um they ended up sending me three books first we have um most eligible billionaire by on a Annika Martin. I almost said Annika. I think it's Annika Martin. This one is about a woman who has a dog she adopted and the dog inherited a billion dollar business. <laughs> what? Okay, so this dog was previously her next door neighbor's dog and when her neighbor dies, she surprises everybody by leaving a corporation worth of billions to Smuckers, her dog. And she leaves Smuckers to her neighbor. And apparently the hero is the jerk CEO of the company who is not amused by this at all. Um, so I guess that's the little dog right here. So that sounds quite amusing. <laughs> Next we have uh, Love on Beach Avenue by Jennifer 
Probst. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, the heroine has my name in here. It's spelled differently though. So apparently our heroine Avery is a matchmaker or no, she works at a bridal place. So apparently her best friend is gonna get married and she's kind of like in charge of it, I think. I think she's a wedding planner, possibly. And this is her romance between her best friend's arrogant demanding brother and her and i think they both like have a dislike for one another or think not the best things of one another um but then they fall for each other i guess <laughs> that sounds really cute too and then we have escape with me by christian proby um and so this one is about keegan who has been told he's married to his pub so he's a pub owner and then a woman comes running through his door his bar door soaking wet and in a princess gown isabel harris ran out on her wedding and she's not even a little bit sorry <laughs> she ends up walking into this bar seeing the irish pub owner and is immediately attracted to him but now what? She's alone and broke with only a wedding dress to her name. Despite the undeniable attraction between them, Keegan can see that Izzy's scared and alone. The job offer he extends is only until she gets back on her feet. He has no intention of keeping her. That one sounds really good as well. It would be very interesting to read about since she is uh, just coming from a wedding. So I want to know what happens there and why she left the wedding. Um, sounds very interesting along with all the other ones so thank you so much Valentine PR for sending me these three books I'm very excited for all three of them now all the rest of the books are books that I got on a book splurge I just had I went to go visit my parents and um, I was feeling a little down and I wanted a little pick-me-up so that is what all of these books are from they have a cute little bookstore in the next town over to them I'm in a small town in Texas and uh, I went there and then also my mom and I popped in Goodwill for a second and so I got some of these at Goodwill too so um, well first of all my mom ended up gifting me uh, this book it's a cookbook I know um, but this says gluten free on a string so basically how to cook simple gluten free recipes if you didn't know I have celiac disease I can't eat gluten um, so my mom found me this book she knows that I've been getting into baking and cooking recently and so she found this one for me um, and it has a lot of fun recipes in here she really wants me to make her some soft pretzels so um, maybe I'll do that very soon for her so I'm very grateful she got this book for me I've been collecting gluten free cookbooks and I love it I love it so much <laughs> if I did not do this book splurge at these bookstores this book definitely would have been um, my April pick for uh, my April one book a month and that is Actor A.G. from Vitalia Hibbert. This is my favorite book of the year and I ended up finding it at the bookstore that I went to um, but if I didn't go in this book splurge this is the only book that I would have bought myself in April. This one is the third book in the Brown Sisters series. The other two are over there and I love this series so much. Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert like the first book in this series was my favorite book of 2020 <laughs> and so uh so far this book is my favorite book of 2021 and um I just love it so much this is about our heroine Eve and um she's been, she's been a trust fund baby basically and so she lives off off of her trust fund her parents have made for her they're quite wealthy and uh her parents have kind of like staged an intervention for her and it's like hey you're not really doing anything with your life you keep losing jobs we want you to have a steady job for a year and until until then you cannot have any of your trust fund money and so later that day she's like driving around and she ends up upon this bed and breakfast that is owned by Jacob here who is looking for a chef for the Beckham bed and breakfast it's immediate dislike between the two of them because Jacob likes order and cleanliness and tidiness and organization and Eve seems like to be none of those things she walks in without a resume wet from the rain sarcastic and funny sayings on her shirt so uh he's just very put off by her and she's put off by the fact that he is put off by her and so uh it's kind of like a dislike to love situation here it's kind of also no 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 it's actually like dislike to friends to lovers because they form a friendship first and i love friends to lovers so much so it's definitely a dislike to friends to lovers so i I love this book so much and five stars amazing favorite book of the year so far for sure so let's do the ones i found at that goodwill first i ended up finding i think this one was 90 cents it was misbehaving by abby glines i know nothing about this book i've heard amazing things about abby glines that's why i picked it up um but yeah i don't know anything else about this book i think it's like book number six in the sea breeze series um i don't know anything else about that i just know that abby glines is a very popular romance author so i found this for very cheap and picked it up then looking back i probably should not have bought this book because of how beat up it is but like it's so old and pretty <laughs> kind of but it's really beat up so this one's called dark fires by rosemary rogers and it's also the second book in a series i think so i don't think i should have picked it up but you know what i think it was only a dollar um but 
this is the cover for it. It has pink edges um, that are very old and it's quite beat up. There's a water stain on here, a kind of ruined spine, but you know what? I thought that the cover, the front cover was really pretty and I think if this was, this was in like pristine condition, it would be beautiful, you know? Um, then I found Her Texas Cowboy by Jill Lynn. I believe this was only 50 cents. Um, this is a Harlequin novel, I'm pretty sure. Yes, love inspired Harlequin novel, May 18th. Um, this just looked really cute. It has a dog on the cover and I think the dog has something to do with the love story. And it's set in Texas. I live in Texas. I rarely read any romance books that are, Texas, that are set in Texas. Um, and I've been meaning to finally find a Harlequin that is good. Because the one book that I read, I despised. That was a Harlequin novel. So um, I'm hoping this one fits the bill. It looks really, really, really cute. And it was really cheap, so I picked it up. And the last book that I ended up finding at Goodwill is A Tender Triumph by Judith. Judith McNaught. I can't ever say her name without stuttering. I don't know anything about this book. Again, I just heard amazing things about Judith McNaught. There you go. Um, and yeah, it's a little torn on the front, but it was only like a dollar. So um, I've heard amazing things about her books. So I did pick it up and I love the orchids on the front. They're just really, really, really pretty. So the rest of the books come from that little bookstore that um, is in the next town over from my parents' house. So I'm gonna show you all of those. How about I show you the non-historical romance ones first. Um, if you didn't know, I love C.L. Wilson, specifically The Winter King by C.L. Wilson. Um, it's a fantasy romance book. It's one of my favorites of all time. And I've been meaning to get into her other fantasy romance series, um, but whenever I go to half price books or a used bookstore, I can never find book number one, like ever. Book number two is always there, book number three is always there, and I don't really want to pick up the other two. I want to pick up book number one. I want to find book number one. So I ended up finding book number one, which is Lord of the Fading Lands, and it is a signed edition. However, <laughs> it's to Kathy, and my name is not Kathy. <laughs> But you know what? It's the thought that counts. I have a signed edition of this book, which is amazing. Once driven wild with grief over the murder of his beloved, the magic fey king Rain Terran Soul had lain waste to the world before vanishing into the fading lands. Now, a thousand years later, a new threat draws him back into the world, and a new love reawakens his heart he thought long dead. Eliesta, a woodcarver's daughter, calls on Rain in a way no other ever had. Mysterious and magical her soul beckons him with a compelling seductive song and no matter the cost the wildness uh, in his blood will not be denied as an ancient familiar evil reigns its strength causing centuries old alliances to crumble and threaten doom for rain and his people he must claim his true mate to embrace the destiny woven for them both in the midst of time we have amazing signaling words in here that i love in books we have true mate we have magic fantasy like it all sounds amazing to me. I wonder like what this creature is though in the background. Very interested to figure that out. <laughs> then I ended up finding two Alyssa Cole books. If you didn't know, I'm pretty sure Alyssa Cole is indie published if I'm not mistaken. And so then I found these two thin books. One of them, look, this one doesn't even have like words on the spine. Um, this one is Be Not Afraid by Alyssa Cole. I've read one book, no, I've read two books by Alyssa Cole and I really enjoyed both of them. Um, so this one is a revolutionary war romance book. It's tiny, tea tiny. And then I also found Let Us Dream. Um, and I'm pretty sure both of these were in anthologies previously and they were like bound by themselves at one point. But yeah, I found both of these. And this one takes place in Harlem in 1917. They're both romance books and um, I love Alyssa Cole's writing. So I definitely snagged these because I rarely see her books in a store. I picked up the next one because it looked just really fun. And that is Thanks for uh, Last Night by um, Eve Langlius, Millie Tayden, and Kate Baxter. Um, these are three shifter books I'm pretty sure if you can see the polar bear back there I think one of them's a polar bear shifter I haven't read a shifter book in quite a while that wasn't um like a dragon Ruby Dixon shifter <laughs> and so um I'm wanting to get more into shifter books so hopefully one of these short stories um is intriguing to me and then I really like it and the last book that's not historical that I got is a Katie Robert book. I found a Katie Robert book at this little bookstore in Texas. Um, this one is Queen of Swords. This is the first book in her, um, what series is it called? The Sanctify series? This is a sci-fi romance, I'm pretty sure. When the cards tell Ophelia Leone she's supposed to marry the Prince of Hans Hansarda. <laughs> I can't 
I can't pronounce words, y'all. The gunner grits her teeth and boards the starship that comes for her. It doesn't matter if the ship's commander is the gorgeous stranger whose bed she just spent a wild and drunken night in. As a diviner, she's painfully aware the cards don't lie ever. Boone Okiarna knows Ophelia is in trouble the second he sees the way she moves, not about to let the deadly little hellcat marry his sadistic half-brother, Boone pretends to be the prince's emissary and kidnaps Ophelia. Too bad they can't be in the same room without him wanting to throw her out an airlock or into bed. <laughs> Even as they fight each other and their explosive attraction, Ophelia and Boone sense something is wrong. Too much is going their way. Soon they realize while the cards may never lie, the truth is sometimes hidden between them. And the future king of Hansarda is not one to take defeat lying down. That sounds really good. A sci-fi romance? I love them. I love sci-fi romance and I never knew Katie Robert wrote a sci-fi romance, so... I found this Katie Rubber book and I love her, so I bought it. <laughs> All the rest are historical romances. I ended up picking up The Heiress by Claire de la Croix. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. Um, and I believe this is the next book in the series that I had to collect for, I think it's a trilogy if I'm not mistaken. Um, the Princess and the Damsel, I already own those too. And I believe this is the third and final book in the trilogy. Is it sad to say I've never read any of these, but they are so pretty. Like they are so pretty um and i bought this book and i didn't think it had a step back not the other two the other two don't have a step back that i own but i was like looking at it and look at that look at that like you don't you can't tell because there's no little indent right there but look at this look at this it's so pretty i had no idea that was a, like a wonderful surprise i love her dress on that super super happy about that um i don't know anything about this series <laughs> but they were so pretty and I love collecting them and like they're just shiny and pretty and I had to collect the last book in the series. <laughs> okay, so I've been getting into Elizabeth Hoyt books. I read two of them in the past two months, a part of the, uh, the, I forget the name of the series. I'm horrible with names, um, but I did find two of her other books that are part of the Four Soldiers series. The Legend of the Four Soldiers series, sorry. This one is the last book in the series called To Desire a Devil. And um, I have to get that sticker off right there, but that is the step back for that one. Very, very, very pretty. It says nothing is sweeter than surrender. And then this, I believe is book number two, which is To Seduce a Sinner. And then we open it. That is the pretty step back. They had another Elizabeth Hoyt book in there and I believe it was a part of her other series um, that I wanted to collect. However, it didn't have a step back so I didn't really want to buy it. Because <laughs> all of the ones that I own by her so far have a step back and so I want to collect all of the ones that have a step back. Um, but I've been loving Elizabeth Hoyt books and her writing is just amazing it's amazing and so um i definitely snagged these two whenever i saw them if you didn't watch my goals video for 2021 um i made a goal to read of all of tessa dare's books by the end of the year so i found three tessa dare books that i did not own and these are her earlier works so this one is a part of one of her series and these two are part of a different series um so this one is surrender of a siren and so then these are the other two in the trilogy we have twice tempted by a rogue and this one is Three Nights with a Scoundrel. Um, I don't know which order they go in, um, but I believe book number one is One Dance with a Duke, which I do not own. Um, but yeah, I found three Tessa Dare books and I just had to snag them. I haven't heard the best things about these books, you know, but um, I'm like, I want to collect all of her books because I love her very, very, very much. Then I found a Jennifer Ashley book. We have uh, The Duke's Perfect Wife, which is, I believe, the next book that I have to read in the Mackenzie and McBride series. If you didn't know, the first book is The Madness of Lordy and Mackenzie, and the next book is Lady Isabella's Scandalous Marriage. Um, and so this is the next book in that series about one of the other Mackenzie brothers, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so I don't know anything about this one again, um, but it's a Jennifer Ashley book, and I've been meaning to get into this series more of them read more of them <laughs> we're down to two more left i bought this one because it's honestly stunning and it looked really good and it's called the lily and the sword by sarah bennett like look how pretty 
that is. That is just gorgeous. This one says, trapped in an old Saxton church, Lady Lily is dragged from her hiding place to the very feet of the warrior who's been hunting for her. Rudolph, the king's sword, a man whose name all speak in fear. Yet when she looks into his coal black eyes, it is not fear that makes her tremble, but desire. So she lies to save her life and prays to save her heart. Even though some instinct whispers that Lily's not who she claims to be, Rudolph is helpless against his burning need to possess her. Furious when he discovers her true identity, he nevertheless marries her, not to protect her from the king's wrath, he tells himself, but to keep a close watch on her. For Rudolph was betrayed by a woman once before, and now trusting Lily could cost him his life. That sounds like a really good romance, a kidnapping romance, which I don't read a lot of, but the cover was just honestly beautiful and I had to snag it. <laughs> and lastly, I found this on the clearance shelf. Y'all, it is a like regular paperback size historical by Kathleen Woodowis. Um, I've heard good things about Kathleen Woodowis and I know that people collect a lot of her romance books um, called So Worthy My Love. Um, I don't know anything about this, um, but I bought this because look, look at that. It's a whole, like, this is a normal paperback size and this is a step back for it. Like, honestly, also look at that step back. Like, that is stunning. That is gorgeous. And like, look how thick this is for a historical. Like, that is huge. I had to snag this. This was a dollar at that store. It was in the clearance section. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I bought recently. Um, I will not be having probably another book splurge for quite a while. Um, probably till my birthday at the end of summer. Um, but anyways, uh, please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. Again, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.